Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alatherix, and of course, welcome back to the sandbox mode in a lovely, clear day. In today's video, we are going through the red portal in order to reclaim more resources, as right now we are very, very low on them. We only have 18,000 left. After the last video, we ended on about 200,000. And you might be wondering, Latherix, where did all those resources go? Well, last night, I opened up a new bottle of scotch, and now we have a railgun. A railgun, I'm now inside by mistake. You know, I was going to just fire the gun then and show that off, but... Now I've got to figure out a way to get back up there. Good start. Good start. You know, that's some terrible health and safety. There we go. Some improvised ladders. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? So, normal railguns. Go by the basic premise of very fast shells over a long distance. Normally, they don't fire all that fast because, you know, they're railguns. One shot will destroy. Well, I don't like that method of acting, really. I preferred more explosions. I prefer just more destruction. So instead, we have this. I won't fire anymore because that is a lot of ammo right there going off into the sunset. So, those are 500mm shells. This is a burst railgun. I'm probably going to slow down the burst slightly, but yep, it is a burst railgun, and you may be wondering why you even use a railgun if you're gonna fire slow shells. Well, they're not particularly slow, they're about 600 meters per second, but still, pretty slow shells. The reason is, those shells are pure explosive. They have no gunpowder, nothing else. For their size, they are very, very damaging. And I love that. So the railgun is just allowing me to put more explosive things into the explosive things. So, going to spend some of that last bit of resource just armoring up this snoot, and then we're going to go and destroy some things. Oh yeah, I should really make a turret cap for this, shouldn't I? Also going to make a turret cap for this. I'm all over the place today. Can you tell? My mind's a bit broken at the moment. I just had a bit of a brainwave. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, and if it does work, I'm not going to use it, because this is potentially a game-breaking glitch, so I do apologise for this. So right now... I've just been thinking about ammunition, how expensive it is, and the ammunition processors make ammunition cheaper than if you go with just purchasing it straight away. So rather than putting down ammo to, to replenish your ammo stores, making it is cheaper. But in this game, when you sell things, you sell it for 100% of its base value. For instance, if I put down this wooden block, it costs one, we sell it, we get one back. So, wouldn't it stand to reason, then, if I go ahead and put down one of the new empty ammunition boxes, let it fill, and then sell it, I'd get more money back. So, very slowly, I think this is actually working. So, we have 17,229, since I forgot to look before. We do that. And now we have more than we started with. Oh, dear. So, yep, this would be a way to get money out of practically nothing. So for engine power, which is our RTGs, especially if we actually allow it to fill properly. Since what happens with ammo in this game is it's shared equally through all ammo boxes. You won't have one partially filled. That's why it's instantly filling up. So if we let it fill properly, then sell it. Yep, we are getting money back. Okay, we're going to avoid doing that in the future. Back to building up my railgun. Just thought I'd check that so we know that that's a problem. Especially in this game mode where resources are a premium. In the actual game mode, resources are so easy to get sometimes. I can't see that being too much of an issue. Actually, no, even in the regular game mode, yeah, it would be an issue. Oh dear. With how much resource we used, we could have probably made a whole host of mortars or something else. Now, something to bear in mind is, that weapon did not cost us all of those resources. I have been tirelessly armoring up the core of this craft, so now we have multiple levels of armor pretty much everywhere else. All of that boring stuff has been done, and that did cost an absolute fortune by itself. So, realistically, I think the weapon costs... maybe somewhere in the region of... 50, 60,000 resource? Something like that, anyway. It's not... As expensive as you might think based on how many resources we've suddenly lost. Also, I'm going to redo this cap later on once I can figure out how we're going to use all the rest of the weapons. Okay, for now, I'm just going to leave this as it is. Because I am itching to get to the real world and start devouring things. We do, of course, still have all of our regular weapons as well. That's all 
still there. All of our missiles and everything are still fully functioning, except, of course, for the harpoon missiles, which have been removed from the front. Oh, yeah, and we now also have more RTGs, because Railgun. Railgun takes power. Power bad to lose. Heartstone runs on power. Heartstone break, me die. Bad. Okay, that can turn. It has three layers of armor in all directions. I've just redid the hull as well, the um, the deck, so that has metal underneath as well. And then we also have our anti-aircraft weapons back online, at least we should do. Yeah, there we are. Maybe I should put one at the back rather than where it is currently. Uh, yeah, let's add one more, and then that's pretty much all of our resources gone. Now, here's the problem. Our ammo reserves are going to drop very, very quickly when we're using that railgun. So, as much as I want to use it all the time, I will have to have some level of restraint. Maybe after this video, though. I mean, this whole video is going to be testing out the railgun. I haven't really done any proper testing with it yet, so... Yeah, well, I did some really basic railgun testing in the sandbox mode just so I can figure out how the darn thing works, but I haven't tested out this one. So maybe it works, maybe it's absolutely atrocious, who knows. It's currently just using pure explosive rounds. We may swap them to Hesh or something else later, depending on their effectiveness. For now, though, I just want more explosions. Ooh, and our heartstone is breaking. That is very bad. Probably don't have enough um, extensions anymore. Okay, I'll fix that, then we'll go. Our rolling is kind of horrendous when returning, and this is because the whole craft just isn't finished. There's not enough stuff inside, and its balance is really, really off. We need to start destroying some enemies, and hopefully, now that we're going through another difficulty-increasing portal, and we've just gone through the blue portal, which has drastically increased it, we should be seeing some really heavy-duty enemies. And I'm really hoping that this turret can carry us. Once again, though, we do have all the missiles from before, so even if the enemies are very powerful, we can unload a lot of weapons very quickly. And a lot of EMP. Now, bear in mind that the placement of this turret can be moved at any time. We can just copy the entire sub-object and move it around. And we can also have the turret... Oh, hello. Change how high up it is by just extending its neck. Anyway, that is an enemy. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Not fully, though. Still want to move a little bit forwards. There we are, 8%. What do we have here? Preparing a scouting missile. As soon as the missile hatches are open. The Jacob's Folly. Okay, well, not a particularly strong enemy, but bear in mind, apparently enemies get stronger the longer you're in a particular zone, so... Not the weakest first enemy. But certainly not the strongest either. We should be able to fire our main weapon at this distance, I believe. But first of all, let's see if there's EMP. Nope. Oh, yeah, I was meant to change up the missiles as well, and I completely forgot. Yeah, they're, cur they're currently still inefficient in terms of their fuel and such. few bounces there. They don't have fuses, but they do have high explosive heads. I might need to add fuses to them. I'm also considering lowering the gauge a bit and just having longer shells. That might work out better. Wow. Yep. Well, it's, uh, it's sinking, so I think it's safe to go there and perhaps capture it. Well done. Like, one second to fire and the thing is completely disabled. And by completely disabled, I mean still completely capable of firing at us. I mean, that's just mean. <laughs> oh, that just caught it. Yeah, that's gone. Oh, yeah, AI dead, you think? The whole thing's gone. I wonder how long I can fire this weapon before it starts to um, slow down its fire rate. I I think it's like two or three seconds and it starts to just fire like a more normal gun. That was beautiful though. 
Okay, the resources should be just ahead of us. 5,000. Not much. Oh, look how much ammo that cost us. But I want to test the weapon more. Come on, enemies. I want to hurt you. I mean, be friends with you. Totally not sadistic. Friendly. Good guys. Sane. A change of plans on our direction. We're going to start going north. The reason is, west and east affects... Ooh. Affects how the portals work in terms of the new areas we go. But north and south, I don't believe they do. So going north would be better. So if we want more stormy but better portals with more red and blue, we go to the east. If you want calmer, we can go to the west. Right now, though, we're so far one way, we don't really have the choice. Ooh, is that firing at us or not? Oh, no, it definitely is. God, am I going to be able to hit it at that range? The shells aren't the fastest. Should have fired for a bit less then, really. See if they'll even land. Oh, yep, yep, they definitely were. Oh, it's a lot of blocks in the water. What even is it? Oh, missiles. Wait, are they torpedoes? There's more enemies over there as well. Okay, let's deal with the big guy first. Cannot see what it is. All I know is I want to destroy it. Yeah, might need a fuse in these things. That did not go as well as I hoped. Ow. Yep, there's definitely torpedoes. That was kind of beautiful and very satisfying. Oh, they're yours. They're your little drones. Well, you seem to be really hurt. Yeah, just that front weapon system there still firing. Just fire once, see if we can... Nope. Oh, it's not your front, is it? It's your side. I see. It's so difficult just to fire a single shell. Yeah, we really, really need inertial fuses on these things. I was hoping we wouldn't just for more explosiveness. Okay, there's its weapon gone. Yeah, it's offline. That was like surgery. Surgery with a railgun. How did that heartstone die? Well, either way, let's get nice and close. Then we can fire EMP and hopefully capture it. Alas, the EMP just broke the darn thing, so that just died. And we actually lost resources for that fight. With ammo and repairs. Mostly from repairs, actually. I lost some of the thrusters, which are really expensive. Yeah, we need to capture enemies. If they're large enough, we can get away with just destroying it, because the amount of resources it'll leave. But things like that, we should have tried to capture it a bit more. I just fired all of the EMP missiles, and it just broke. Too damaged almost instantly. So it must have been really close to being too damaged before we even got there. There is a resource zone though, right there. So we're going to go for that. Probably won't give us much, but it'll be something. I see an enemy, and that's one of the ones with a nuke, isn't it? No, not you, Railgun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep, definitely is. Well, that was a very, very fast death indeed. Oh, and apparently there's one over there as well just went up. What? Just... Wait, did this look teleport? Did I get the resources for that, or...? I don't know what just happened. Oi, where are my resources? Bloody games cheating me! The nerve of some games. Another thing I need to do, I just thought, is make sure the railgun doesn't dry in all of our energy. There is actually a setting for that. See, apparently my main drive is now on 0%, but I'm still moving. I find it really difficult to get this thing just to stop still. It's something to do with the Deadly Blades. I'm not sure what it is, though. Either way, let's put down some harvesters. Let's grab everything we have here. Ahem. Thank you. And once again, we are moving. Yes, that's... That's what I wanted. 
There we go. Just harvesting straight through the ship, because physics. Okay, I figured out the problem. It was set to the wrong preset, and because of that, it wasn't responding to the stop command. The other one is probably still broken right now. Yeah, that one stopped, the other one's still moving. Oh, come on, I want a large enemy already. Well, you'll do. <laughs> that was such a waste of ammo. Oh, and yet it was so satisfying, I don't really care. I like this gun. Really should just level out its fire rate, though, make it more um, stable. At the moment, it's just all of the firing, and then far less so. Give me a crossbones or something. Something we can really hurt. Another little one, I think. Unless it's just distance. Maybe it's huge, but distances are making me confused. No, that looks pretty tiny. Also, I've noticed we are kind of steering to the left all the time, and I think that's one of my PIDs messing up. I was just checking on them. So that is something we need to do something about, otherwise we're going to end up going in circles if we're not paying attention. Nope, that is absolutely tiny. Adorable, but tiny. Let's get nice and close to it, then we'll fire the EMP missiles. I could fire a cluster. That would be a real waste of ammo. Ah, Look at these wheedle shots. Hmm. Just get hit by a missile. I'm going mad. Are you backing away from me? Because that is really annoying. I'm definitely being hit by missiles. I can hear them. It's not... Oh, it is you. Oh! <laughs> I have a sixth sense when it comes to dodging these things. Oh, fine. Still want to capture you, though. Oh, will we make it in time? I doubt it, but we'll try. Oh, no, I can't get that far away. Okay, I, I need a, a controller somewhere near the front. Because I can't control myself when I'm moving. Darn it. How did that give me 3,000 resources? Well, I guess I did less damage to it. Before it exploded, I guess. Um, there's an enemy over there, though I can't see it. But yeah, we need to put the vehicle controllers all over this craft, because at the moment I can't leave this post and still control the ship, which is really bad for trying to capture things. Well, aren't you adorable? So I've put down some controllers around the craft, so now I can actually get to the edge and still control us. Okay, we've got our materials there. Not satisfied with the enemies at the moment. Come on, bring me something which could potentially destroy us. Well, rather than one small enemy, we have two. Ooh, actually. No, yep, yeah, that's just that Jacob's Folly, and that, I believe, is a river home. Let's try and take out that main gun, because that can actually be really nasty. And... success? Nope. Those shells are going kind of everywhere, so trying to dodge this is going to be annoying. Oh, no need to, it just completely missed. Have we took out the weapon? Yes, we have. Okay, so that should leave it pretty vulnerable. I think it still has some missiles somewhere on it, but... That's pretty much offline now, in terms of its danger level. Oh, there they are. That's a pretty big explosion. Okay, let's prep our missiles. Oh, that's cool. So it fires them up, and they don't actually have propulsion. They just float on down to us. That is a really cool idea for a missile. Yes, no. 
Come on, let's capture at least one thing today. Money of the larger missiles, this thing is completely made out of wood. Which is very good at resisting our EMP. I think this is the main EMP weapons we've got, so... Fire those. Oh, there we go. Jump on over. Did it work? Yes, it did. Excellent. That's ours now. And then we jump on back to our ship. Or we get stuck on the side of our ship. One of the two. Ahem. Thank you. I wonder how much the River Home's worth. Could have just checked then, honestly, but... 27,000. That is not bad. Okay, so we need to do something about capturing. I'm still getting used to the new ship, as you can probably tell, and I think I'm playing very stupidly. Seems like we've turned off the Jacob's Folly with... Why did we even shoot at the Jacob's Folly? Is it just sitting there? Is it being patient? Jacob's Folly, did we shoot at you? I forgot. Oh, I think we did. Okay, well, let's go and capture that as well. That'll be a nice amount of resource, and then we can stop worrying about our ammo usage as much. So, I think, although we're not going to do much melee damage anymore, I think those days are pretty much over for this craft, we need our harpoons back. We just do. We need the ability to stay close to the enemy quickly. Because although I can control the ship and get us into a position where we're fairly stable next to them, that takes too long, and you have to react fairly quickly to try and capture one of these things. Is that another river home? Well, that should hopefully uh, stop that from being too much of a problem. Oh no, it just turned, darn it. It turned after we fired, there was no chance that was going to hit. Well, back to the Jacob's Folly for now. Hopefully it doesn't fire those cram cannons. Like I say, those cram cannons can actually be really, really nasty. No? Huh. I remember hitting this once with one of those EMP missiles earlier and then just completely turned it off. By earlier, I mean earlier on in the season. Series. Potato. There we are. AI dead. And now you're mine. If I've actually done so little damage to this, we could keep it. I've always wanted a minion. Oh, uh, no, we equally destroyed the front. Oh, okay, so that's clearly where we hit. Okay, Jacob's Folly. Prepared to be absorbed into the collective. Thirty thousand. Lovely. We can afford quite a few more things now, so we can start improving the craft. We need more RTGs if we stick with RTG power, that is. I'm starting to think that might not be really possible because of how much energy we're going to need. Uh, we need more movement. We need to stabilize the movement. We need a proper keel. That would help a lot. There's loads of things we need. You know, I could make this rail gun and fire slower, but, you know, with more energy per shot so we have faster shells. But at the same time, there's something about that I just adore. Okay. If that somehow doesn't die, we'll try and capture it. But yeah, need harpoons. Need harpoons, need somewhere to stand properly on both sides. Oh, there is an enemy over there. I thought I was going mad. Again, a tiny one. Come on already, give me some godly enemies. I know it's all scaling and stuff and it will eventually get more difficult, but come on. I want to fire the railgun at something properly. So I was having a thing. What I think I'm going to do is leave this railgun mostly as it is. I'm going to slightly scale down the fire rate and slightly increase how much energy it gets per shot. But it's mostly going to be there just for raw damage. I'm going to build a secondary railgun, which is going to be the long range one and far more accurate. And that way we can disable targets really far away, whereas this one... Ow. Mean. This one is just for pure raw damage, is what I was going to say then. That should hopefully be enough. Yes, it will. And boing. And you're out. Fantastic. Now if you let me jump. There we are. 
One more river home collected. Now, what is that next enemy then? Can't even see him. Um, well, that was a wave. Okay, the weather is getting far worse now. So I've killed a few more enemies, but I'm still in the hunt for something worthy of our gun. I've also changed the gun quite a bit, so now it's firing slower, but it's firing far faster and way more accurate. As in, the shells are faster and more accurate. It's firing slower still. Less shells. But it's now actually sustainable as well, which is nice. Briefly, we just locked onto an enemy. I've no idea where it is, though. Somewhere here. There's also an enemy over there, apparently. I just can't see any of them. There it is. And it looks absolutely tiny. And yes, scouting railgun. Oh, is that another little enemy? Why are so many tiny enemies? Just give me one proper fight, please, game. More small enemies. Ooh, this one can warp. Not enough, though. So I've spent the resources we got earlier on some really boring stuff, some more armor, I've added more weight to the bottom of the craft, I've increased our turning capability, and I've added more RTGs, so we should be able to get our energy back a lot faster. Um, we need more battery now, just more storage in general, and then I think we're done for our engine for a while. There was a plane trying to sneak up behind us, being very sneaky about it. And apparently it's so small our missiles didn't even see it, so that's good. Oh, there are the missiles. <laughs> well, there it goes. Oh, dear. But seriously, can we just have one normal enemy, please? Well, there are explosions over there, but I can't see the enemy. Oh, hello, torpedoes. Oh, is it a sub? This is going to be annoying. No, it's self. We need torpedoes. It's very difficult to lock on when you can't see where it is. Oh, one of them hit. Okay, a few of them hit now. There it is. Hello. We keep on hitting it underwater. <laughs> yeah, so I've changed the shells and the railgun quite a bit, as you can probably tell. So now it's way more accurate, and actually it's really satisfying to use. The shells are also now going a thousand meters per second, so... Yeah. <laughs> we could just hold down fire, but it's more fun to just... Do that. Okay, there it goes. I think that's all its weapons offline. Probably really won't be able to kill this thing, but still... That's it, resurfaced, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Only 2,000 resources. Not great, but fun, nonetheless. So now the fire rate is actually sustainable on this weapon. The shells are far more accurate, far longer range. They are slightly weaker per shot, but yeah, this is going to be really good at medium to long range now, whereas before it was only short to medium, really. Which is a bit weird for a railgun. We can always convert it back. 
actually really easily. Just a few settings on the railgun, and change one element of the shell, and it's all back to how it was. Can we please have a proper fight before we end this video? I'm running out of time rapidly. What are you? Best way to find out is to blow it up. Yeah, these shells are a bit weaker now, which I'm not happy with, honestly. I might just make this once again a more medium range burst fire weapon, because it's more fun. I've hit you a few times. No idea what you are, though. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, you're destroyed. That's what you are. Well, let's go and get the resources from it, eh? Wonder how much it's worth. 32k? Not bad. That would have been worth loads if I captured it then. Which was honestly my intention. I just destroyed it too fast. Bad railgun. Bad. Okay, gone through another red portal just because I want to find stronger enemies. And it turns out the reason why we were constantly slowly turning left is because inside the craft I had one wall, which apparently I built completely without mirror mode on. It wasn't even an issue of me f using the autofill and then just not doing it on the other side. This was manually placed and I just didn't have mirror mode on, so the center of mass was very slightly off. Did those bombs just warp through our hull? I think they did. I think they hit our underside though still. Also, suddenly my neighbor is playing music really loudly in the background, which is lovely. Wow, really loud. We hopefully it's not picking up on the microphone. Cause you know what makes quarantine so much better? When your neighbours are inconsiderate. Oh my god, that is so loud. I am not pleased. Resist urge to destroy. Hello there, little enemy. And flip. <laughs> well, that certainly stopped it a little bit. Well, if that's not dead, we could potentially capture it, although the waves are horrendous. Also, we keep on going under the water because I've set my um, altitude PID a little bit weirdly, and when, well, when the waves are happening like this, there are some problems. I'm guessing we just got hit by torpedoes. Oh no, it is still online. So the question is, is it worth cap- well, trying to capture, or should I just destroy it? Oh, definitely just destroy it. Look how much damage that's doing. Okay, where is it? I can't even see it anymore. Nope, I think it might be underwater, similar to me. There it is. Well, that's definitely more deadly than some of the other flyers we've been fighting. It was disintegrating, then it stopped, so I stopped firing. Oh, we might be ramming it right now. Yep, hello. <laughs> what a cool little craft. Huh. If you're not floating, we can't hit you with the EMP missiles. Yep, you're once again going down. That's going to be a real bother to try and capture, so I was waiting for it to self-destruct. Maybe if I get close enough while it's self-destructing. No. Very little resource. There's an enemy just over there. Seems like it's white flyers. And it's gone. <laughs> well, I thought it was a bit bigger than it actually was, but ooh. Did we just get hit by a nuke? We did. Ow! 
Well, for now, though, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. Sadly, we still haven't found an enemy which we can just keep on hitting over and over again with all of our weapons, but hopefully soon that day will arrive. So, with all of that said and done, I've really enjoyed the new railgun. My resources are still going towards quite boring things, just making sure the ship's working correctly. At the moment, we are still... Still slowly turning to the left. I have double checked so many things. The center of mass is now directly in the center. I've checked the drag and it seems mostly centered. I've checked all the different forms of propulsion. They're all working as intended and being equal on both sides. Not quite sure while we're why we're still going towards the left. My one theory is perhaps it's something to do with our roll controls, and um, that could be messing it up, or our pitch controls, so that's the next thing I'm going to check to make sure they're balanced, because if they're not, that could be sending us slightly off as the ship tries to correct itself. At least that's my current thought process. Either way, though, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly... So that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we will continue to try and find a worthy challenger. Thank you, and goodbye.